What is going on, Trophy Hunters? Josh here from the Platinum Trophy, bringing you The Drop, the new games released for May 5th, 2020. Let's take a look. All right, welcome back, guys. We're here again with another The Drop, uh, new games released for May 5th, 2020. Uh, taking a look at all the new games coming out on the PlayStation Store this week. As always, I'm having a look at the US drop purely because it comes out first. And uh, generally, it's more accurate than the European one. So, don't know what's up with that. As always on this uh, as always on the show, we take a look at all the new content coming out on the PlayStation Store. We look at what it is, we look at what the trophy is going to be like, and then we give sort of a, a score of what we consider going to be the easiest games to earn and the best games coming out this week. So without further ado, let's go and take a look. So first up on the list, we have Emma Lost Memories. Uh, this time I came prepared and I pulled up a couple of YouTube videos that we can play um, of all the new games and their trailers. So Emma Lost Memories is a 2D platformer style game. It looks like a little bit of a combination of Super Meat Boy, but then as you're progressing through the levels, the level is disappearing as you go. So potentially a neat little 2D side scroller. The uh, trophies for the game are here. It's got uh, a lot of trophy lists. For some reason, I don't know why, but it has three trophy lists on the Vita. So I guess it's got regional lists for each of the different regions it's coming out in, but also but then I could only find one for the PS4. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe more will come up or over the next couple of days, depending on when it launches. Um, the game's got six bronze, which is a good thing, 17 silvers and five golds. So it's leaning towards one of those games that's potentially going to be a easier platinum trophy to earn. The challenge is with these games, they can be either really, really easy or really, really complicated. Um, in the case of Super Meat Boy, for example, the game in principle seems really simple, but it's arguably one of the most difficult platinum trophies that you can earn on the PlayStation 4. So if this game is that style, it could be really, really simple. It might be really, really hard. I think Radalika had a game that was kind of similar style to these games, and it was, uh, it was a relatively easy platinum, but it was decisive in terms of what people, people's skill level when playing the game. So it's kind of up in the air on this one uh there's a lot of games to get through today so i'm gonna try and go through them a little bit quicker but we have uh fury unleashed here and i've got a gameplay trailer for that as well violence blood and gore watch out guys again we've got another 2d hack and slash style game here i don't know these things are these things are cool but there's so many of them now that you kind of it's kind of seen that been there done that you know um uh, yeah, it looks interesting. It's not my style of game or not my kind of game. It is a really standard trophy list. 30 bronze, 14 silvers, 2 golds, and 1 platinum. Let's have a look at the gold trophies to see, you know, generally those are going to be the most difficult ones. Legendary game mode and complete a game in one combo starting from the first comic book. So I'm guessing that's for finishing the game in one playthrough, maybe. And this is for finishing the game on the hardest difficulty. So take what you will from that. A few people are playing this. And looks like this is the only game that these guys have made. Disappointingly, actually, it's something I just noticed after uh, I was about to click off this. Down here, you don't need all the trophies for the player. And it's just a forum post with people talking about this platinum trophy and the description. Complete all game, complete the game in all available game modes. Um, indicating you can get the platinum without actually finishing the game, which is not the case, of course. You, you can't, the only requirements for earning a platinum is unlocking all other trophies. It doesn't matter what the description is. That's the only way you can earn it so yeah they've obviously they don't understand what a platinum is or maybe what trophies are unfortunately and that's kind of what they've named their trophy it's a bit of a shame you you, you know this is uh you'd hope that when people go out to make a game they do a bit of research and figure out there is a community of people who are really into platinums and that's an easy way of engaging with them but instead you can't do something like that the platinum community will eat you alive uh okay next up we have infinite Beyond the Mind. Again, another 2D action pixel art side-scroller game. There's a few of them this week, unfortunately. I mean, unless you're into that, then yay. Uh, no one's got the platinum on this one yet. It does have a ton of gold trophies, though, which is what makes it interesting. Being a pixel art type game like that, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a relatively short game. Uh, but based on some of these gold trophies, uh, you've got to finish the game on expert difficulty, which is probably a challenge, not easy. 
uh, obtain the good ending, the neutral ending. So it is a gold heavy list, but it's probably not going to be an easy list. Generally, the easy lists don't require you to play the game on expert difficulty or the hardest difficulty in the game. Um, okay, next up is John Wick Hex. Pulled up the IGN trailer here um, for this one. This is... I still have no idea what this is. I'm getting an ad for another trailer here. I, I don't know. This is either like a narrative-based point-and-click adventure game of some sort. I, I actually don't know. And unfortunately for this one... There is no trophy list available for this yet. It hasn't gone live on PSM profiles as of the time of recording this. Uh, let's keep going. What Ping Redux? It's like a Pong style arcade game that, to be honest, looks like a game that could be an easy platinum, but there's no trophy list for that one yet. Who's the developer? There is an achievement list up on True Achievements though, and it takes three to four hours to unlock on uh, on Xbox One. So. This is potentially an easy. Well, I mean, it is an easy platinum. Three to four hours is is certainly an easy platinum. There's a lot of achievements though, so it's it's not going to be just like a gimme, 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 but it's, um, yeah, but it's not too bad. You can kind of tell when you look at the game, hey. All right, uh, we have Read 2, this little uh, cat thing, and it's another 2D puzzle game. Looks like you got to click the blocks to open the door. Yeah, it's like mini levels, you got to click the blocks to open the door. Now, when I started the video, the trophy list for this wasn't live, but it has just gone live. And it is... Oh, this is perfect. This is what I want to say. It's got 11 golds and one platinum. This is going to be easy. So get your first cube, die once, easy. Those are two free golds. Find the hidden character in Prisonelia. Find the hidden duck. Find the hidden arcade machine. Find the hidden horse. Find out about find out about the sword you pick up. Find about the sword you can't pick up. I guess that's supposed to say find out about. Find snow on a level, find the first hidden level, second hidden level, third hidden level. This is going to be a super, super easy platinum. Unless there's something here that I'm missing in terms of like one of these actually requiring you like finish the game on hard mode. I don't see why this wouldn't be, I would say probably the easiest game on the list this week. We've got uh, Super Mash, the Nintendo trailer for it because I couldn't find it on the PlayStation YouTube channel. <laughs> a game that makes sense. Mash together iconic genres to create never before seen experiences jump through all right okay so you combine two different game genres together and then you can play that game that's actually kind of cool yeah that's actually really cool i like the idea of this okay cool no i'm sold on this i don't need to see anymore uh let's see what the trophies are like for this one i don't believe these were up yet yeah these aren't live on psn yet but they are live on xbox achievements oh that's a tip as well if you are looking for a game and it's not live on playstation network or psn yet in terms of trophies or achievements you can always go to xbox achievements for some reason they pop up there earlier i don't know why yeah this game's really random so i'm not even sure how hard these would be because it looks like it's for completing different types of combinations like do a jrpg battle unlock second game shop win a mash with increased bullet size glitch so i feel oh wow there's a lot of achievements as well yeah it's probably not gonna be an easy platinum but the game definitely looks interesting i'm very curious to see what it's actually like when it comes out taya mumari complete edition which we have the trailer for here. It's another frantic pixel art 2D action hack and slash platformer type game. Same as kind of everything we've seen this week. I do wonder why there are so many of these now on PlayStation Network. Um, and there's no trophies for this one yet. So completed edition includes the full game. But then when you search for that, there's no information anywhere about the game. So, okay, next up, we've got Task Force Campus. I was interested in this one because the Digimon, I mean, the guy looks like a Digimon. Uh, okay, so it's a, it's like a shooter, space shooter type. I don't even remember what the genre of this kind of game is, but okay, it's not what the artwork makes it look like at all. It's got a good trophy list, 14 silvers and seven golds. I'm gonna say it is purely because only two people have got it and it's got 100% completion so far. But secondly, because click 10 chocos, 30 chocos and 60 chocos gives you like two silvers and a gold straight away. But then you get a silver for dying once, a silver for dying twice and a gold for dying five times, which seems like absolute gimmies. Uh, survive one minute, two minutes, four minutes. Destroy 25 meteors, 50 meteors, 100 meteors. 
Kill 200, 500, 1,000 enemies. Kill one boss, two boss, three boss, and then beat high school. Okay, yeah, this is this is an easy one as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd wager to say this is going to be a really easy platinum too. So there's, there's two of them this week. Two really easy platinums this week. Drawing inspiration from golden age of Japanese shoot-em-ups. It's weird because it actually does look like a Japanese shoot 'em up but obviously it's not. All right, we're almost done with the list. Uh, next we have Ubermosh Omega. Let's guess. A 2D hack and slash platformer. I shouldn't be so harsh. People with a lot of evidence. Them, it's, and to be fair, like it's not. It's a it's a twin stick shooter. No trophy list for that one yet either. And the last game on the list today is Void Bastards, which is a first person like comic book style space game. I think. And it looks like it's got other elements to it as well. There's like a yeah. So that's that's kind of cool. I like the art style of that. It's really different. Uh, Void Bastards. No one has got it yet because it hasn't come out. Um, potentially another easy one. We've only got a few bronze, and these are all for just doing your basics. These are all for building things. Uh, gold escape. Escape, escape. You've got to complete it on normal and hard with no death, so that's hard. Yeah, it's probably not a gimme platinum, but it doesn't look like a super, super hard one either. Let's see what everyone is saying about the trophies. All right, well, people here are saying that it's potentially up to eight playthroughs with less than 1% achievements unlocked. So apparently it's been on Xbox for a while. So potentially a, a slightly harder platinum than I initially thought it was gonna be. All right, so that's that's the entire list. Bloodshot's also coming out if you're into that. Um, if we go through these, we've got Task Force Campus. That looks like it's gonna be a super easy platinum trophy. So I would say tick on that one. Uh, you've also got Super Mash, which I think is not going to be an easy platinum trophy, but looks kind of cool. Definitely interested in this one, keen to check it out. And then uh, Read 2, which again looked like a really easy platinum with like 11 trophies to earn, so not too many. Um, the rest of these just seemed like your standard, uh, your standard drop for the week. So that is the full game list or full drop for May the 4th be with you um hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know if you're going to be checking out any games from this week down in the comments section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, and hit that subscribe button smash that subscribe button and i will see you guys in uh the next video have a good one bye for now